All right, let's take a look at one seven day one. It's a two day uh, lesson. So this is day one of two. We're talking about midpoints and bisectors. Um, so midpoints is a middle point. The midpoint of a segment is a point halfway between the endpoints of the segment. A point is equidistant from other points if it's the same distance from them. So the midpoint separates a segment into two segments with a ratio of one to one. Okay, so it's going to be two equal parts here. And here's my formula. If you want to find halfway between them, you add the two that you're given and divide it by two. So let's try that. It says, what's the midpoint of XZ? So we're going to add the two points. So negative three plus eight. And then divide that by two. Negative three plus eight is five. Five divided by two would be 2.5. So if you look right here, should be the halfway point. Kind of look and eyeball it and check and see that that is indeed the halfway point in between X and Z. Sorry, I'm too far zoomed in. So the next one, add the two you got, negative five plus seven, divide by two. Negative five plus seven is two, two divided by two is one. So if you went halfway in between them, that's one. If you're like, well, is it really? Well, you could always check it, right? Cross off until you get to the middle and see where you're at. We're looking for the midpoint. We want halfway in between them. So I cross off first and last. I'll see that one is right in the middle. Okay, so you could check it, it works. All right, so here's one. It says, Bonnie works at a vintage clothing store. She wants to hang a new sign. Uh, so it's centered above the dressing room doors. Given the dressing room doors have the same width, find the point along the wall that a pony should hang the new sign. Okay, so it tells us, let me zoom in on this tells us that this is at 7.5 and at 13.5, and we want to find halfway in between that. Okay, so they've already set it up for us. They add it up, 7.5 plus 13.5, and divide that by 2. So if I add that, that would give me 21. 21 divided by 2, that's going to be at 10.5 feet, 10 and a half feet is where the center of the picture should be hung. Okay, midpoints on a coordinate plane. So you will just add the x's divided by two, add the y's divided by two to find halfway in between each point. So halfway in between the x's and halfway in between the y's. Okay, so we're gonna use this formula to solve the next problem. Um, it says to find the midpoint of A is at negative 2, 1. So that's going to be X1 and Y1. This is going to be X2 and Y2. So when I plug in, I add the X's. That'd be negative 2 plus 8. Divide that by 2. And then add the Y's. 1 plus 3. Divide it by 2. Negative 2 plus 8 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And four divided by two is two. That would be the midpoint of those two. Try another one, pause it. See if you can figure this one out. Okay, I'm gonna let negative six, two be x1 and y1. And then five, seven is going to be X2 and Y2. And so I'm gonna plug into my formula. I'm gonna do add the X's, divide by two, add the Y's and divide by two. We're gonna find halfway in between them. We're finding the midpoint. That'd be negative one over two. This would be nine over two. Match up to A.
Okay, what if they tell me what the midpoint is and I need to find the other side? Okay, so let's look at how we're gonna solve this equation. We know the midpoint. We know the formula for midpoint. Let me zoom in on this real quick here. Okay, this is our formula for midpoint and everything's been plugged in that we know. We know x2, we know y2 is eight and three. They gave us a point. Ah, I'm zoomed in too much. They told me B was eight, three. So that's why the eight and the three have been plugged in. They told me the midpoint is at three and a half. Okay, so you're gonna solve for X one. Midpoint of X is three. So you're gonna have three equals X one plus eight divided by two. And then our other equation, we're gonna have a half equals y1 plus three divided by two. Okay, so you set up the one, the x is gonna equal equal to the x value. So this one set equal to that one, and then half set equal to that one. And then you're solving that. So the first step to solving, and these steps will always be the same. So once we have an example down on our notes page, you can follow it. You just multiply by two on both sides. So you multiply by two, that gives you six. And then subtract that eight over. And that'll give you negative two for x1. Okay, and then so on this one, multiply by two on both sides. Half times two is just one and then subtract that three over. So you subtract that three and that gives you a negative two. So our point is at negative two, negative two, that was A. All right, so this is hard. So let's practice another one of those. We have, let's call this, this time, let's call this X1 and y1, and we have our midpoint. That's our midpoint. So I have negative one, one is equal to, and you would do x1 plus x2 over two, and y1 plus y2 over two. And we have to solve two equations because this one equals negative one and this one equals positive one. So we're gonna do, Negative one equals negative three plus x2 divided by two. And we're gonna do one equals five plus y2 over two. Steps are similar. Start out by multiplying by two on both sides. So that's gonna give me a negative two equals negative three plus x2. And then add that three over. That's going to give me 1 equals x2. And then I have to find y2. So I would multiply by 2 on both sides. That would give me 2 equals 5 plus y2. Then subtract 5. So negative 3 is going to equal y2. So my answer for t is going to be one negative three. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this without having to solve all this way. I wanna show you something. What else you can look at is you can look to see from five to one, that went down four. So if I go down four more, that should get me to the new y. I went from five down to one, that was down four. If I go down four more, I'd be at negative three. And then you check the same thing here. This went up two. So if I go up two more, negative one plus two is one. So you can also get there that way. So you can solve it out to break or you can just look to see how much it changed in between. I don't care which method you use, they both can be used to solve it, okay? But Algebraically, you have to solve two equations, and here you can look to see how far it was in between. If you want me to re-explain this to you or show you some examples of this on your worksheet or on your practice, I'll be more than happy to. That's all we had to get through today was the midpoint. Tomorrow, we'll talk about bisectors. Um, today, we talked about midpoints.